Hello there guys, my name is Joe Gimpy Dwarf and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So today we're doing another spotlight of one of Dark Lord's builds. I am joined by the wonderful Z now. Uh, the hello. wonderful, as always. Yeah. Um, so what specs have we got on this ship in terms of weaponry? Yeah, this is the, um, the Rook uh, Patrol Destroyer, yeah. was it? Yeah, it has um, two, battle ca two battle cannon turrets, four out cannon turrets, six Gatling guns, five missile turrets and 12 anti-missile defense systems and it features 70 crew members to control all of these that's freaking awesome <laughs> yes it it's looks, a it's a it mouthful looks, it looks the part i mean it it's... feels very um uh like bulky at at the front section over here but in a good way to me it's very bad already because i've like in some of my previous videos on spotlights i've mentioned how the sort of the uh, cockpit can be too exposed to damage this one isn't it's one, it's, it's very like, concealed yeah, it's very concealed i don't know where it is currently I, I haven't looked through the insides of the ship yet so yeah the ship has uh, two um airlocks and two connects as well so we can it isn't a fast ship though no i think it's again i think this is more as it's stated on his uh thingy page it stated it that it was more of like a, a basic sort of fighter yeah rather yeah than, really like know. a convoy raider convoy raider more than anything yeah so this would be like the standard ship you'd see that like does like escorting duties and things like that and simple military yeah. tasks so well, do you want to go in then we'll go in the back yeah. end yeah yeah let's go and this is the front the uh, front end oh. <laughs> <laughs> I oh nice love... shelves in the locker room to actually take off your uh, asteroid gear I found this with another ship that I did recently. Um, they they starting to do it where they actually have like quite a large area to pack your stuff away in, and make yeah, them like a, a it nice makes addition. sense. Yeah, makes real yeah. sense. So I'll step through. Nice here. addition. So depressurize now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we don't have a suit up, so it doesn't really matter. We can yeah. guess everyone in here. So I'm guessing. Is this like the command bridge? Yeah. Let's just double check. I think this know. is the control uh, seat over here. No, behind you. <laughs> Oh, is it? This one. It's, a it's kind of weird how it's settled, but it isn't bad. It's nice, actually. It's like, uh, it's concealed, and it's it would do the job, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like, I, is it me, or is the, are the connectors feel, they feel very industrial, though, in a good way, where it's not too industrial, where it's yeah, kind so of it, clean. He uses the wasted space very well, like, yeah. if I was building, I would probably leave this room empty, like, the roof. There would yeah. be no connectors. <laughs> I would but have made it's, them a, it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good feel. It's nice. It, it feels tends... very uh, uh, modern industrial. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, we're going all artistic on this now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, a mess hall. Have a canteen mess hall, yeah. That's, that's nice how he's got the windows here. I don't like how there's only coffee machine. Oh, there's also sinks over here. Yeah, nice windows. <laughs> a bit, bit exposed, just a little bit. A little bit, but again, with the black windows, he's actually, he puts the black windows against the black paint job and the paint job he's actually got on the black color blends in with the windows up from the outside so you don't know what you're shooting at although what i don't really like about this room is that there are only 16 places to sit down on and there are 70 crew members but there'd probably be people on duty as well as people no there's one the guy just fucking sit standing here like okay <laughs> hello you know what i'm gonna stand here the coffee machine <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we go through here a bit of a nice little walkway well it doesn't really fit the other uh, no. that's it it's just strange yeah, and that's the bottom airlock, which yeah, uh, on the right is the bath, the, the bathroom, like a sleeping quarter and a bathroom over here. Let's go inside. <laughs> oh wow, it's like sort of more like an officer's quarters. Yeah, I, I don't know actually. We'll, we'll see. I, I've only seen this room. You dig? <laughs> <laughs> so it's more like an officer's quarters. However, I wish the mod creator what the would fuck get happened that bed sorted. Me? Well, I am. The, oh, get into the bed, please. This is really weird. When you press, no, uh, like you stand up, don't you? No, when you press V. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> so we got nice. that. Nice. We got like share and toilet. Yeah. And then we got like um ah, oh, sleeping quarters, bunker. actual bunker. crew quarters, which Five, plenty six, of beds. Seven, eight. Which work, eight by weeks. the way. Look, hey. Hi hey, babe. They actually How work, which is nice. And the locker rooms again. Yeah. I do like having these little touches of like you know. What's this? Probably toilet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. However, yeah. Is, there, is there any sinks? No. Is that no... is just a locker room toilet. That's different. Okay, so you don't have to wash your hands. <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> so we got through here. Oh, that's, that, that's that guy's place. You shut the door again. Okay. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, there's a battery. I'm just going to double check because I know people tend to ask, is it mirrored? No, it's not. 
It's not. It's a mad bay over here. Yeah, so it's, it's right. even got in just a little bit. I wonder what's behind this wall. Hmm. Well, there's a bedroom over here, like a sick bay. Yeah. So I always double check see if things are mirrored because some things aren't. And we got more beds and. Toilet. Well, so there's sleeping space for 18 people, a dining place for 16 people, and a total crew of 17. That doesn't add up. <laughs> I don't want to be a bitch, but that doesn't add up. <laughs> Okay, so we're coming over the refinery here, so this thing can self-sustain. Where well, you're sort of manufacturing its own goods, and materials, resources and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, this this is laid down pretty, pretty from this side. I like this this here, where it's got dangers, battery charging area, and you just can't go back there. And is it me, or does this feel kind of Star Trek uh, space-like, like 1980 space? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy. I like this as well, if you come over here... Where? And just behind you. This is the Sage Reactor. Uh, not Sage Reactor, the Sage Thruster. Yeah. And he actually uses it as like a, a bit of decoration. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. It works, though, it works. It, I found that the other day, and I was like, this is really, really nice. It is. So, it's... is that all the ship? I don't know, actually. I think yeah, there's an airlock be. down here. This is it. Yeah, that's the bottom airlock, isn't it? Oh, this is a little um, bit more cramped. Is it? Oh yeah, this one's like a more just, you know, have to have your suit on and... I think it's more like emergency than anything. Yeah. So it's got like a docking station under here, well thought out, so you can fit a ship under there. So it can refuel things and... Yeah, although, where's itself. the second connector? Wait, it, it may be so good that it's a... Uh, oh, does it say it's got two connectors? Yeah, it's it has two connectors. That's what it says. Um, I don't actually know. I mean, we'll leave it. Screw it. Yeah, no, up, up here, up here. Two. I found it. Nope, okay. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think what we'll do, guys, is uh, I think if you and me, Zeno, I'll, I'll get a, I'll get two copies of the ship and we'll both do some tests on the guns shooting at its, at, at the ship. Yeah, but uh, well, one thing, uh, do you notice the solar panels down there? Yeah, it's awesome. Isn't this just fucking awesome? <laughs> is it me or is it awesome? It's pretty cool. I mean, what what is actually using there? I think... Are those just regular, like, solar panels? Yes, know. the yeah. regular ones. Okay. So, I think that's all we can really show the ship. Um, what we're going to do now is I'll get, like, two copies of the ship. One for me, one for Zeno. I'm already and, in the ship. And we'll get another copy of the ship, put it in the distance, and we'll test out the weapons and test out how well this thing could face up against itself. <laughs> oh, you can turn them on and off. Like yeah. the so, we'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we're back. We've managed to have a few mishaps and things. Um, we figured out one of the turrets shoots itself, and uh, Jeremy's just taking a few pot shots with one of the Jeremy, the really? Jeremy, wow. Robin is taking a few shots with the uh, cannons at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, as you can see, in the, I don't know how you've set it up, but if you're going to take a look at my left turret, you can see you can troll it. Yeah. Like so. And it has a nice angle lock on there so you can't go any further and damage the ship she's quite nice actually dark lord does think about that very well um but again in terms of the turrets and um, the auto cannons if they are meant to just shut like fire sideways it's not a very good design because the way they're lined up you yeah it doesn't shoot yourself with them like way too easily only the bottom one is efficient Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's actually try the auto cannons. Let's just hit tab. This is your. This is the only auto cannon that works properly. Oh my god! You can actually set it up to where they're both in like one axis, like this. Ah, Do you see so, that? Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is we're going to take a few pot shots at this. Take shots at critical areas of the ship, and we'll see how well, like how well they fare against it. Um, so I'm actually going to show people in the cockpit area. This he's got like, different desks again that are, you know, put together. So every t the one you jump into, you'll control a different thing. If we actually aim with this, we'll try and get a good shot on target. Boom! Oh my god! Well, I just ripped it into a butthole. How come you moved? <laughs> just a little bit. Tiny bit. Oh my god. So these cannons are actually pretty damn powerful, and I love the sound. Well, you can still shoot your own ship with these cannons, by the way. Well, the big cannons? Yeah. Oh, okay, so there's still a few issues with turrets, but... Other than that... This is 
going. It's going. It's a, it's a pretty nice ship, and it does what it needs to do. So I'm just gonna absolutely give it a few shots here, there, and everywhere. I think. Yeah, it does work. It's awesome. Well, I think that's it for this video. We I don't want to stretch it out too much. No. Um, we need to have a look at the damage caused um, before we go anywhere. My viewers love to see damage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> love, love it. I love, love it. seeing shit blown up. So well, we'll go and have a look. So you can see over. by one of the shots I fired that the damage of the big cannon is pretty immense. It pierced the hull immediately and destroyed well. Oh shit, that's a complete hull breach right there. That's, yeah. That's death. Ha heavy armor? Nope. <laughs> No, I think some ships need to have heavy armor placed in crucial areas. Well, the front section is, as you said in the start, it's very well protected. Uh, however, I have pierced a hole in the med bay. Yeah. Um, which <laughs> is a bit uh, <laughs> of a disaster, really. Yes. <laughs> Being as, oh, and I pierced a hole in the main um, control center as well. And I would have took really? it gunners, yeah. Oh, well, however, this armor in the main control center is holding up quite nicely it holds up quite nicely but again in in terms of real like realistically like real life scenario you'll be dead like hull breaches are massive things in space and it's it's like i always think of it like that and it's they're really yeah freaking disastrous. especially if you if you use uh oxygen in space if you don't it's not a big deal or, or any yeah. type of gas for liquid gas forms to keep yourself breathing <laughs> i don't care but yeah, here we go don't. damage Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Need to fire off a shot before I crash. Oh. <laughs> I see you sitting there, your entire hull's fucking breached. Look at this though. Oh wow. The glitchiness. No dude, <laughs> you can see what I see. Awesome, the entire ship. ripped it a new butthole. Oh damn. <laughs> Well guys, this is the damage, the half of the canteen is gone, so you're not alone standing by the coffee machine. If you guys have enjoyed this video, then please like, favorite, and of course subscribe for more. Go and check out Zeno's channel, he's got loads and loads of really cool space engineer stuff. He's part of the IC Corporation, go check out all that sort of stuff for factions. Yay. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And check out Gimpy Dwarf too. Peace. Peace.